So what we're doing is we're printing energetic material, so basically something that can react um, when it's given a bit of an initiation energy. And so what we're using is uh, nanothermites, so basically a metal and a metal oxide, and being able to print them onto a wide array of substrates. So energetic material is a, is a widely understood and, and pretty well studied thing as well as additive manufacturing separate. And so we've kind of come to the intersection of those two fields in order to study a little bit more on how do we actually produce materials with energetic material in them. The inkjet printer we use is actually really similar to the one that would be in your home or your office. It's just on a much smaller scale. Uh, so basically the one we use has a glass tube and it's surrounded by a piece of material that's gonna flex when you put a voltage through it. So based on the voltage you put through, it'll flex a different amount. And so that'll squeeze your glass tube and actually produce your droplets. And so you can tune what's the diameter of your glass tube, what's the length, what sort of voltages are you putting through it in order to get the droplets and the prints that you want out of it. The stage below can move with a 0.1 micron precision. So basically the, the thickness of your hair is about 100 microns. And so we can go a thousand smaller than that. And then there are three nozzles on it that allow us to do different types of materials, different types of droplet volumes. We're talking on the order of pico to nanoliters of material per droplet. Burning at temperatures well above 2500 Kelvin, right around 3000 Celsius. They're quick moving, they're producing a lot of heat, and they're producing a lot of thrust, so they, they're able to create nice loud shock waves um, that you can actually audibly hear when the energetic material is being set off. When you think engineering, right, you're thinking, oh, maybe the automotive industry, maybe I'll make a plane, you know. And, and then this project comes across your radar of energetic material and additive manufacturing, which are two things that I personally never saw come together. But now that I have, I, I've been able to gain a lot of knowledge in both areas. Our project has four different professors who are intimately working with it on a weekly basis. So Dr. Rhodes is coming from a MEMS and dynamics background. Dr. Chu has um, years of experience in the world of inkjet printing. Dr. Sun and Dr. Grunews both bring a lot of expertise in the world of energetic material. And so something that's unique to Purdue as a whole is this ability for professors to work together and collaborate on intersections of technologies that maybe weren't previously realizable. In this way, I'm able to not only learn from four very talented professors, but also create technologies that span a wide range of kind of subject matters here at Purdue.